Hello designer and fashion lovers. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Gigi. I am a British African fashion designer based in London. So in this channel, you're gonna find a lot of um, pattern making and sewing tutorial for women's wear and swimwear. First of all, I just wanna say thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed to our YouTube channel because we just hit 300 subscribers. I know some people, they might gonna think that's not a lot, but to me, it means a lot. Just imagine having 300 people following you what you do so thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed i will appreciate your support in this video i'm going to show you how to make your own basic bodice block with your basic body block you can use for your top dresses blouse so it's very very important for you to have one because it's going to be useful if you haven't watched my video, How to Measure Yourself, I highly recommend to watch that video. I'm gonna link down on the cards somewhere here or on the link below. If you like this video, if you like this video, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Thank you, designer. Now let's get started. For this tutorial, you will need the following two ruler, tape measure, marker, scissor, rubber, and long ruler. You also need the following measurement. If you haven't watched my other video, how to measure yourself, I highly recommend to watch. I'll leave the link below or on the card. Now let's get started by doing the front bodice block. Draw horizontal line, one half of your shoulder measurement, plus your shoulder measurement. From this line, right shoulder line. From your shoulder line, measure your bust length and draw horizontal line. and right bust line. From your shoulder line, measure your back shoulder to waist measurement plus three centimeters and draw another horizontal line. Write it down, waist line. And you can so write central back and the fold. Measure from waistline your hip length measurement. And draw horizontal line. Don't worry guys, you'll get the reason why we drawing all this line. Right hip line. From your shoulder line, mark one half of your shoulder measurement and on the side, mark one half of your shoulder measurement plus two centimeters. And go in one centimeter. Now draw your neck curve. From the new neck curve on the shoulder line, measure your shoulder measurement. My one is 11 centimeters and then go down four centimeters and draw your new shoulder shape. This is your new shoulder shape because your shoulder is usually not stretched 
so that's why we have to go down four centimeters from here measure down one half of your upper arm measurement plus four centimeters and draw vertical line and this line is going to be for our armhole now draw horizontal line now mark one quarter of your bust measurement plus one centimeters measure again one quarter of your bust measurement plus one centimeters and do this for the other two lines and draw vertical line measure again like I'm doing for your hip line I'm going to use my long ruler just to make it easier just to draw that long line and I'm going to wrap the lines that I don't need measure your armhole depth and divide by by three example my one is 16.5 divide divide by three equals 5.5 So I'll have two dots. On the first dot, go in 1.5 centimeters. Just like this, go in 1.5 centimeters. And then the last one, divide by, by two. So the reason why we did this will make it easier to draw a curve for the armhole. So now we're going to draw our armhole. If you have the master ruler, it will be easier for you because those rulers are designed for every single side of the pattern making so it's very easy so I highly recommend you to get this ruler or any pattern making rulers because it will be so easier for you so now I just draw the armhole shape now mark one half of your bust separation and put a little dot and draw a vertical line all the way to the hip line so this line is gonna be a guide for the dot If you go down from the bus point to the waistline and then put a little dot and then from here measure down two centimeters toward the side seam from this line which is the bus line measure down three centimeters And connect with the dot now from this line go out 1.5 centimeters and extend the line so now go down three centimeter for the dot just draw three centimeters now draw the dot so 
so now draw a line like this so the reason why we're doing this line is because when you saw the dot you always need the extra material so that's why we have to go a little bit out from the block so this is our side scene dot So now mark 1.5 centimeter each side at the waistline. From this dot, go down. From this dot, go down two point centimeters. Now draw your dot. From the waistline, go down 10 centimeters and connect your dot. Go down 10 centimeters and connect your dot. Uh, now mark one quarter of your waist measurement plus four centimeters and connect the line to the dot I'm trying to find the best side for the on the ruler to draw my sides in Again, do the same thing for your hip. Mark one quarter of your hip measurement plus one centimeter eights and draw your hip shape. So this ruler is very, very useful. So even when you buy, has got a, a picture shows you how you should use your ruler for certain part of your pattern. Now I'm just going to go over with my marker, my black marker, so you guys can see clearly. I always recommend when you're doing your pattern, use a pencil because that will make it easier for you to erase anything, like a line you made a mistake. So I highly recommend you to use a pencil. And then after you help with your shape and then just use a marker over it. So I'm just going over all the shapes so that way it's clear for you guys to see and then it's easier for me to see as well. And then make sure you draw your grain line. This is basically when you place on the fabric so you know which direction you should place your fabric. And make sure you write down a knot, that's your front bodice and then the person's name or what size it is. Now we're going to do the back bodice block. Draw a horizontal line, one half of your shoulder measurement plus your shoulder measurement. And right shoulder line. Now mark one half of your shoulder measurement and then on the side, mark two centimeters and go in one centimeter. Draw your neck curve. Now from that from your neck curve, measure your shoulder measurement and go down four centimeters. Draw 
draw your shoulder from your new shoulder line mark one half of your upper arm measurement plus four centimeters and draw vertical line now measure one quarter of your bust measurement plus one centimeter is Now draw vertical line all the way down. If you have a long ruler, it's going to be helpful. As I'm doing here, I just draw a long. So now from your armhole depth, divide by three. Mark two dot and go in 0.5 centimeter for the first dot. On the second one, divide by, by two. This is to help us draw our armhole. Now it's just going to draw the shape for the armhole. Obviously, if you have uh, your master ruler, it's going to be easier for you. I just have to do again. I wasn't happy with the shape, I'm just gonna go over it. So next we're going to measure our back shoulder to waist measurement. Just mark your back shoulder to waist measurement on both sides and draw horizontal line. And write this down as our waist line. From waist line, mark your hip length measurement and draw horizontal line. And mark hip line. From here, mark one half of your bust separation and draw a vertical line all the way down so this line is going to be a guide for the back dot I don't need this so I'm going to erase <laughs> so from that line measure down two centimeters so this is gonna be our new point measure 1.5 centimeter each side and then connect your dot from that point From the waistline, go down 10 centimeters. Now draw your bottom dot. Mark 
mark one quarter of your waist measurement plus four centimeters. Now draw your side seam from the mark we just did. Next, mark one quarter of your hip measurement plus one centimeter. I just wanted to make sure my line is straight. Now draw your side seam hip. So this rule is so useful, honestly. It makes my life easier. I highly recommend to get one if you don't have one. So now I'm just gonna do again. I'm just gonna go over my line with my black marker. So that is clear for you guys to see and then it's, it's going to be easier for me to cut down as well. So I'm just gonna get, go over. So the line at the center is very important because say if we wanted to take the dot off, so this is the line we're going to use to cut down the pattern. So make sure you draw your grain line. This is very important. So it should be center back. And then run center back. So write your bodies, a back bodies, and then the name and the size. Now just cut down your block. So I'll do the same for the front block. So this is my hole puncher and the notcher. So I have this for over 12 years, honestly. When I first did my pattern pattern course here in London. So now just do your notch. So you really have to do this for your pattern because when you copy to uh, copy to do a different like shape, so it will be easier for you. So this is how you should label your pattern block. And you're done, well done.